Stimulants, this class of uh, medications uh, like Adderall, uh, like Concerta, uh, like Stratera, um, these are medications that are FDA approved for the treatment of attention deficit disorder um, and also have some other, some other indications. They're molecularly identical or almost identical to street methamphetamine. They're highly addictive. And what's really astonishing about these medications is the rate at which prescriptions have been rising in the last two decades. So I, I believe that stimulant prescriptions have increased more than tenfold since the early 1990s, which is really a shocking number. Not only that, but we're seeing an expansion um, in the age groups for which doctors are prescribing stimulants into much, much younger age groups, kids as young as two years old, and also older age groups. So it's, they're really only FDA approved for the treatment of uh, teen or adolescent um, ADHD, but now we're seeing lots of adults who are getting initiated onto stimulants for ADHD, uh, despite you know, that previously not being common practice. Previously, you had to have this diagnosis of ADHD or ADD from early on, as evaluated by your parents, teachers, doctors, a comprehensive evaluation. You know, now you can walk into these, they're kind of like stimulant clinics, frankly, um, where you can just sort of do a, your own little survey that they give you, and if you get a high enough score, you know, you can walk out with a stimulant prescription. And, and I mean, I think that's really dangerous um, and really poor care, and I'm very concerned at the rate at which stimulant use uh, and stimul stimulant prescribing has, has gone up in this country. Um, stimulants are now freely traded among high school and college students. Um, there's almost no stigma uh, around doing that, about around using your own prescription and giving it to friends or selling it to friends. There's no stigma for students to take it from, from others, to use it as a performance enhancement agency. But people don't recognize that you know, there really is no free lunch and there's a cost to the brain. And in fact, stimulants in particular, we, we feel may even be neurotoxic. So it's a, it's a, it's a serious issue. Mm -hmm.